Welcome to the Wham Bam East Fan Show on CJSF 90.1 FM. Today, we have a guest, Brett Martin. Come on in. Yeah. Woo. Woo. All right. Button. Hey. Ah. Yeah. We're here at Grandview Park here in East Van. What? It's good to be here. Yeah. So tell me about yourself. You're a comedian? Yes. Yeah. And how did you start um, doing comedy? Uh, how did I start? Well, I uh, I did a um, an open mic, an amateur show in Calgary mm -hmm. uh, when I was like 19 years old, and uh, I heard like a few people uh, cough and okay. maybe one person laugh, and I'm like, oh, I like that sound. And since I really had no other skills, I'm like, I'm going to keep uh, pursuing that one sound. And uh, here here we are, uh, four years later, and I'm still doing comedy. No, awesome. I'm way older than that. But, uh, yeah. All right, and you have your own YouTube show. Uh, yes, yeah, uh, a talk show. It's uh, I'd like to think of it as a as a as a as a, as a talk show, <laughs> a, the Brett Martin show. I lo I love talk shows. Uh, growing up, uh, mm -hmm. I watched Letterman. He's probably one of my biggest uh, comedic inspirations. Then on to Conan, uh, and then something I always wanted to do myself. And then uh, uh, I've had actually like uh, four failed itinerations of, of trying this, and then this current one now is, has been working uh, well for a while now. I think we're on the year four. We did live for three years mm -hmm. at Yuck Yucks, and then uh, the the pandemic. Did you hear about the pandemic? <laughs> what do you know? Yes. Yeah, yeah it's, it's crazy. So you heard about it too, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that sort of ruined everything. So the, you couldn't do shows in front of people, and so uh, we're like, well, maybe we'll uh, well, it was uh, Jake's idea. Yeah, it was, like, it was Brett Martin show. Introduce uh, who are your uh, your main like? You have a partner? Um, a sidekick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he. Uh, sidekick. Yeah. yeah. He's he died. No. <laughs> no, 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 he's not. What's his name? Uh, he did, uh, well, it was Sam. Sam, uh, you Sam yeah, funny. <laughs> but uh, you know what, Sam, he actually, uh, honestly, he left the show. Uh, oh, no. He decided to pursue his uh, lifelong goal of being a huge <laughs> No. Sammy. No, uh, it's, uh, it, we, uh, uh, he had things he needed to do, and it, it worked out great. So we're actually looking for a, a new sidekick. We've been discussing exactly how we're going to do that. Okay. Uh, but like, uh, based, Sam said a pretty high level, so we're thinking like a trained dog, something like that would probably do the, the, the trick. But uh, the plan, I think, is uh, as we get into our uh, fall and start uh, taping and performing again, uh -huh. we'll, we'll, we'll run uh, some people through and just see who the right person is. So there's no rush wow. to replace Sam. But uh, if you're out there and you're like, hey, I want to be the psychic on the show, uh, drop us a line. Maybe it literally could be you. That's right. It could be you. All right. Now let's take a look at his show. And I did have to edit a bunch of stuff out. So, um, yeah, and I still have to warn you, listener's discretion is advised. But first, please welcome your host, Brett Martin. Yeah. Yes, Brett. Yeah. yeah. Out of breath. Oh, what's going on? How you doing? Oh, I'm great. How are you? Woo, sweating. Uh, bad. Jake, how are you? Doing fantastic. Uh, you're, you're looking good. Doing good. Uh, how's it going? I haven't seen you since uh, the last time we did uh, things, this. Things are going fine. You well, know, fine. just ticking along, yeah. cruising, some would say, getting ready, you know, yeah. living the high life. Going the speed limit, no faster. No, fa fuck that, man. You never go faster than the speed limit. If you go slower, you might actually impede traffic, though. You may impede traffic, but you're not going to impede lives. Yeah. Five billion people, Sam. Whatever. Uh, everything's well with you? Yeah. yeah. Did you do anything interesting since the last show? No. You what about you? Did you do anything? Uh... Whew. There was uh, not really no. Cool man, that's great. No. I went to Wreck Beach. Uh, you know they expect you to take your clothes off too. They don't really. It's only some old fucks who expect you to take your clothes off. Everyone else there is fine, but it's these old assholes who think that they rule the public beach. They say you should take your fucking clothes off. And when I go down there, and I'm, you know, I'll be honest with you, I'm wearing spare trunks, I'm wearing a shirt, I got my camera around my my neck and they're always like oh take your pants off take your pants off and i'm like who do you think you are my uncle and they're like yes and then you know we have thanksgiving dinner huh yeah all right uh wreck beach is also uh what you call your uncle's house <laughs> i'm glad you have pants on now uh have you ever been to a, a nude beach well, I've been to Rec Beach. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> they're, it's weird. First of all, I thought they're, not, they're not as classy as I thought they'd be. I thought you'd show up, you know, you got like a, like put on a blanket, have like a, some wine. No, it's just a bunch of old testicles so everywhere. You're wearing a fucking bow tie? On my cock, but yeah. There you go. No, yeah. yeah, this is not classy at all. It's just a bunch of people on mushrooms and then balls everywhere. So, anyways, I'm going to go back uh, tomorrow if you guys want to come. 
I'll be coming. <laughs> Speaking of coming, uh, we got some jokes coming up. We got a great show, though, too. Damn good show. Damn right. We got that Peter Grant guy. Yeah, he's, very, he's very funny very man. very Australian. Uh, is that where he's from? You know, I've, I've known him for a while. I, I'm pretty happy to say he's not from here. Uh, we'll find out when we talk to him. We got, uh, we got, we got special correspondence. We got, uh, oh, we're going to learn. And, you know, what we're going to do more uh, right now? Jokes! Jokes. I can't wait. I love jokes. <laughs> Uh, North Korea has announced a ban on uh, skinny jeans and mullets. Nice. Pretty big deal. Uh, International Observer suggests uh, the announcement is proof that uh, maybe it's not so bad there after all. <laughs> yeah. I'm not thinking that. of going. I, you know, I've already been there. Uh, have you been to North Korea? Um, in my mind. Oh, it's, it's been a lot of places in your mind. Uh, I've been to uh, many uh, men's change rooms in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he hasn't been there in his mind. He's been there physically. Uh, a North Carolina the State University study uh, has found that dead trees pass gas into the atmosphere to such an extent that it is contributing to climate change. Oh, wow. That's significant. Anyways, uh, the study is being held as a landmark achievement in the lengths people go to to deny having farted. <laughs> uh, I just usually blame you. Mm, oh, you queef. That's right. I'm sorry. Uh, speaking of another, here's a... This is a story. I, I can't wait. Have you ever been in an airplane, Sam? I like it, man. It's kind of fun to be up there and you're in the clouds and you think this is what it's like to be dead. You think you're going to heaven. <laughs> Did, I don't know if this happened to you on your flight, uh, but an Air, an Air India plane was forced to make an emergency landing after a bat was spat, uh, spotted flying around in the business class. A bat? A bat. On an Air India flight? Not a bat, man. Just a bat. Uh, okay, yeah. 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 So what happened? They had, uh, but the airline, though, they apologized. Uh, but they noted they had no choice as the bat had only purchased an economy class ticket. <laughs> cheap, these bats. Cheap. They're very know? cheap. Very cheap. Uh, we got a great show tonight. Uh, you guys ready to have some fun? But so. tell me about Jake. Jake. Jake, yes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> tell me about yourself. Uh, what would you like to know? Well, you're a musician. When, when did you start learning? Uh, probably about like 15, 16 years old. Yep. Around a few years after I met Brett, actually. And was it guitar? Uh, yeah, Brett and I both like started failed attempts at like the high school band and all of that, and uh, we were horrible at the time. He, okay, ho not horrible. We uh, I got a guitar. So you know, he got a bass. Okay. Uh, w within a few months, he had mastered the bass and got a guitar. Okay. And I was learning how to do like basic power chords. He is a phenomenal musician. Uh, and, like, Thank you. Yeah, yeah, so like, he's been great at music ever since, so sort of. And, and did you play in a band? I've been in a few bands over the years, but I'm kind of more uh, the one-man band. I do it all, so probably nothing you've ever heard of and nothing that ever went anywhere. And I didn't know you played an instrument, too, so you guys were in high school together. So you're from Winnipeg as well? No, uh, Calgary. You're from Calgary? Oh, okay, so you went to Calgary and then you came here. Yeah, well, no, uh, uh, Toronto, Montreal. And here, I've, oh, I've lived a uh, whole Canada. lot of places. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I kicked out of most of them, but uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, tell me about other comedians that you've met uh, here in Vancouver. Uh, I met essentially all of them. Like, uh, this is, it's not that big of a scene, so uh, yeah, no, like, I would say if there's a comic in town, mm -hmm. uh, we know them and have some kind of relationship with them. Uh, it's, it's pretty much that way across Canada, actually. It's not really that large of a comedy scene. So. Well, name, name a few, especially I'm looking for female. Comedians. Female comedians. Yes. Oh, uh, well, uh, Amber Harper Young, very okay. funny. Uh, but Melanie Rose, Lark Miller, uh, uh, Katie Ellen Humphreys, uh, Andrea Jin. Sharon Mahoney. Sharon Mahoney. Sharon Mahoney. Uh, uh, Tammy Hu. Ooh, uh, Tammy Hu. Nina Wilder. <laughs> There's a, uh, no, that's a real person. He's laughing like I made up Nina Sam Wilder. Bonning. Sam Bonning. <laughs> Sam, uh, he goes, uh, he spends a lot of time in women's washrooms, but he's not a female comedian. Uh, but yeah, there's a, a there's a, a lot of very very funny uh, females in, in in town. Awesome! And you have some um, any events coming up or any, any news uh, for September that you were saying? Nothing. Nothing. No. No, <laughs> uh, no we're, we're gonna be uh, recording again. We also have Brian, who uh, um, I he's, I just learned his name. He's been at the show for like a year. I don't like him very much. Okay. But uh, <laughs> he, he's uh, Brian. <laughs> what do you do? I'm still figuring it out. No one knows. Where do, you, where do you usually do your show? Uh, um, uh, I've, I've done it at a few parks. Yeah? Yeah, I went to Riley Park. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe next time we'll do it. I was thinking of doing it at, like, at a laundromat. That would be kind of fun to do it. <laughs> you can get you your, your clothes clean at the same time. Right? Yeah. And then, you know, maybe like behind a garbage dump or whatever. It doesn't matter because it's East Van, yo. Right? So it's East Van. You should go to Stanley Park and, and uh, you get attacked by Coyote. That'd be a lot of fun. Okay. 
<laughs> are you scared of coyote attacks? Uh, no, 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 not, not, yeah. I see wildlife here and there and, you know, they just do their own thing. Yeah. There's another yeah, coyote attack they, like yesterday in the park. So another kid okay. got bitten. Oh, okay. I mean, so, yeah. Uh, it's a, uh, so I'm always a downer bringing down coyote attacks, but I just... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Fred, for coming on the Wham Bam East Van Show. Wham Bam! East Van! Yeah! Woo! I live downtown. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, okay, I'll do it again. Do it again. East fan. Wait, 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 one more time. Okay, and what do you like about East fan? <laughs> Leaving. What do I like about East fan? Honestly, not much. <laughs>